And look at this. Playing a little cat and mouse here, letting Caruso go off first, and now he's going to chase. It's like when you're carrying the kids, you know, the further they slip down, the harder it is. And this is why Alexandra on the spot to make sure he's OK. Now, this is all about our top three. Two and a half points in it only. Ammonia salts for Eddie Hall to try and get the blood racing. He is up on, against Eddie. Mike Caruso. Yeah, Eddie Hall, two and a half points off the lead. Realistically, must win this event to win overall. Ready? Well, you know what, Martin? I would say this is uh, definitely not an Eddie Hall kind of event. Well, I would have said that before oh, yeah, Doncaster, but then we saw what he did in the Conan Circle and the running events. And look at this. Playing a little cat and mouse here, letting Caruso go off first, and now he's going to chase. But well, he's been looking for the grip. He was trying to get his fingers interlocked, couldn't, didn't, thought about underneath, didn't work. Now he's got the lock on it. But of course, don't forget, he injured his toe as well, so anything that involves moving and carrying is going to be really painful. Trip up and down for Caruso, 20 metres, which means that you've got to go there and back twice just to match the Georgian leader. Eddie Hall holding it on his knees and taking a breather. There's no time restraint here, Colin. No, there isn't, no. It's uh, quite a clever tactic there from Eddie, and he's managed to get his fingers locked again. Just, that makes a huge difference. And he's carrying it higher up as well. It's like when you're carrying the kids, you know, the further they slip down, the harder it is. This is all above waist height. He's got to 40. Now, he's in the money. Anything from here on is gravy, and that's maybe, you know, they're going to spot it at the 44.89 metre mark. But that was a good carry from Eddie Hall. Look at the fingers here, slipping apart as he gets to the turn. But he knows he's got to go further, and so he does. And there's his wife, Alexandra, on the spot to make sure he's OK. This is shades of the finale in Great Britain, where he just laid himself on the line. Well, Eddie Hall has put down the marker. He's the man in third who's doing all the chasing. These two are top two. One point between them. I think a bit of cramp there for Beljak. He's struggling. I think it's quite smart to take your T-shirt off here, actually, because it'll stick to your skin. Off goes Jason Bergman, and look at his grip. He's done look and learn. It's almost on his shoulder, and there's nothing that says you couldn't do that. So he's done 10 metres. Belshak, our event leader, the 21-year-old, has led since the start, and they are all hunting him down. He's heading to 30 metres. He is not waiting. He's going while he's got a grip. Bergman doesn't have to race him. He's just got to do the distance. They turn. They have both gone by Eddie Hall. Hall is not going to win this. This is whoever drops it first is going to lose the competition. They've got to 50. Bergman is going for the grip again. And Belshak, he is doing the same. He is stopping and resetting and misses his toes at 53.4. And that leaves the target for Bergman. He goes by. And he wins it, 55. That is his fourth event victory. They are tied on points, but Jason Bergman has done enough surely here in Budapest to claim the title. And Britain's strongest man, Tigers through to third. And this man, Eddie Hall, he had a pretty bad start. You didn't have everything go your own way for once, did you? You had to really battle that one. Yeah. You kind of cooked up an idea with the Iron Cross, resting on your knees, and then the others copied you. I know, I know I gave away the tip, but you know, that, that, that's life. Well, we've had the bell shack bounce. We've now got the Hall Cross, but Jason Bergman copied them both to ease the 21-year-old out.